Hi, this is Dr. Amir Bodroli from Dermatology and Mold Surgery here in the Washington DC area and we're presenting our case of a hydroxychloroquine induced hyperpigmentation uh, in an individual uh, lady uh, in her early 50s who presented with this uh, to our dermatology clinic and referred by her treating uh, physician um, for systemic lupus um, to evaluate uh, and we performed the biopsy and had classic uh, findings of uh, drug induced specifically in this case hydroxychloroquine induced uh, hyperpigmentation and was uh, quite diagnostic uh, in her case so it's important to know about this because of the differential diagnosis uh, it could look like other uh, causes of hyperpigmentation it could even look like um, increased pigmentation from Addison's disease it could uh, look like uh, bruising or abuse uh, potentially in certain individuals and so it's an important differential diagnosis for hyperpigmentation unlike the other side effects that you can see with uh, hydroxychloroquine specifically the ocular issues and retinopathy which are usually dose dependent or duration dependent in this case this skin manifestation of uh, hydroxychloroquine side effect is not dose dependent or duration dependent. Usually it's seen in the first uh, few years of treatment in about probably 10 to 20 and in some studies up to 33% of individuals who take it can develop this hyperpigmentation so it's important to know about it can be quite uh, quite common and it can not only involve the arms like in our case but it can involve the face, uh, mucous membranes, it can be on the nails and uh, it's important to recognize that. Uh, oftentimes, after you stop the offending hydroxychloroquine, uh, the hyperpigmentation improves, uh, improves tremendously. In some cases, though, we can have uh, areas that, that do persist despite discontinuation of the uh, medication. And so, the, in summary, I think it's important to keep in mind uh, when you're treating folks with um, hydroxychloroquine to have the hyperpigmentation as a potential side effect recognize it and be able to educate the patients. In our particular case, she wanted to stay on it despite this side effect. Uh, she considered it a minor issue because it was one of the, basically the only thing at this point that was helping our systemic lupus be in control. And as we all know, uh, hydroxychloroquine can be extremely effective uh, in treating folks with lupus. And we also use it for other things in, in our field, including polymorphous light eruption. Um, sun sensitivity issue and um, it has an excellent role in our armamentarium. Thanks for your attention.